My very first ultrasound that I went to when I was pregnant with Johnny, they could tell something wasn't right with his kidneys. They didn't think they were there at first at all. They had found out that he was diagnosed with end-stage renal disease, renal dysplasia, which in short terms is pretty much his kidneys never developed. They told me that it was not gonna be an easy road. He only had about 40% chance to even make it to his first year. I said, I'm gonna do whatever you know, I have to do to keep my son alive. And um, that's, that's what I did. started testing to see if I would be a donor for Johnny. Um, I was a match, and we were going through the workup of me, you know, making sure I would be able to donate a kidney. Um, and in the midst of that, I got a call on July 5th at about 4.30 in the morning from his doctor saying that they had found a, a kidney for him. I went and back into the bedroom, and I woke up his dad. And I was kind of like spinning in circles, like, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? And um, his dad looked at me and he said, well, you can start by taking him off dialysis. And when he said that, I just, I fell to the ground and I just started crying because I thought of it as like, wow, this is actually possibly the last time that he's ever gonna have to do this or need this. So we took him off dialysis and rushed him to Children's and he had a transplant. About, I'd say seven or eight months later, Johnny started complaining of abdominal pain. And we were in and out of the hospital. They were trying to figure out what it was. Numerous tests, they couldn't find anything. And Johnny was in severe pain. Well, come to find out, they did an exploratory surgery on him and they found lymphoma. When we started going to chemotherapy, that was uh, a rude awakening for me. He did the chemotherapy, I wanna say for about six months. Um, and then slowly after that, his um, labs started getting worse. And they ended up doing a biopsy and, and saw that the kidney was um, rejecting and that it was failing. Johnny had developed numerous antibodies that it was almost impossible to find them a match. So they started doing my blood work and stuff again, and I got a call that I was no longer a match for him. And that was, I think, the worst point of our, our life. Um, I think I was like maybe six, seven, or eight when I found out I had cancer. And the total number of years that I've survived it and haven't been losing her or anything was at least eight years. So really, as long as I've survived cancer, it means I've still got Hope for a good life. <laughs> I saw his strength, and that's really, I think, what kept me going, because through everything that Johnny was been through as a baby um, and growing up, he's always been happy and, you know, loud and hyper and doesn't let anything get him down. If he was happy, I was happy. When he was sick or not feeling good or upset, then, you know, I would be upset, and I think we've just kept each other going through all of this, all these years. They did treatments on him, IVIG treatments, which helps lower antibodies, and he's been doing that for probably the past six years now. 
his last IVIG was probably about seven months ago. And then we got the call that they uh, had found a match. I tell him every once in a while after that transplant, hey John, dialysis called, they don't expect you there. So, I mean, he, I get a giggle out of him, so that's good. That is, that is fantastic. It is a, a different road, and it's different medicines, but it is the goal that we want. It is where we need to be. I am mostly excited about my future, like what will it be? It's always a mystery. Like you never know what will happen. I hope I just have a normal life. Well, I got into the National Kidney Foundation, obviously, because of my son. They kind of stepped up once this was going on with Johnny, and I was very grateful to have the support of the National Kidney Foundation and everything that they have been able to do for the children and for our family. The more people that come together and support the Kidney Foundation, the more work they'll be able to do to help families like ours. Everybody should donate to the National Kidney Foundation because it helps save kids from being stuck in dialysis for a long time, helps them find a kidney and a good future.